Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm very excited to be with you here today on Training Tip Tuesday. And part, most of the training tip, I'm going to actually give you two tips, and that's going to be regarding the horse I'm on today. Her name is Faith. Here's Faith. She is a, a grade gray mare. She's probably five or six years old. I don't remember exactly. Now, if, if, uh, if she's much off of that, of that I, I apologize to her owners, but I think she's five or six years old. She came out of Lake Havasu. And Faith I, Faith, I actually had her about a year ago. She came down and she, for training because she'd had a couple of major accidents early on in her training. Um, she was being ridden, or the trainer put a young girl on her for the, I think it was the first time she's being, being ridden, put a young girl on her and either went to lunge her or went to round pin her. And she lost control, bolted, and the, she might have bucked. I'm not sure if she bucked in those, this situation or the, the next one I'll tell you about. But she certainly lost control. <clears throat> I think she did buck. And the girl fell off and was drug in the round pin. And it, you know, it was, it was definitely a life or death situation being drugged by a horse. That's that's probably the worst scenario you could imagine. And uh, for, I, it's, it was in a round pin, so the, the girl got really banged up from the panels, and but she survived and, and, and I, I met her. She's a wonderful young lady. And then Then another lady, it was the owner's sister rode her uh, a couple months later, I believe, and the same thing happened. Faith lost it, lost her composure, reacted and bolted and bucked, and she fell off on the outside. So she's on a left lead, I believe, and the, both of them fell off on the right side and then were drug. And so the same scenario happened both times. One of them was with the trainer in the round pin, and I believe the other one was just with, with the young lady, young woman. And so she, Faith had two major accidents, major traumatizing things that happened to her, really out of, out of control of anybody. You know, it's not something I would do as a trainer, but I, I know some trainers will do that, put somebody on and, and lunge the horse so the horse can, because the horse typically will listen to the trainer on the ground. But at any rate, I don't do that, but um, Faith had a couple of major accidents and, and she, uh, obviously the, the owners, needed to find somebody that they felt tr they trusted enough to could work with her. So she came to me and I worked with her for six weeks and Faith was really challenging. I had to do a lot of groundwork with her. I didn't ride her much until like the fifth and sixth weeks. And uh, she still was a little, a little overreactive on the ground, especially on her blind side. Blind side meaning if she's going to the left in a left circle and I'm on her left side, her right side is her blind side. So if I wave the flag up over the top of her head or over the saddle onto her blind side, she, re she would really react to that. And even to this day, she still does react to that some, and I'm still trying to help her through that, that anxiety that she feels when the flag goes up over her on the blind side. And I am pretty sure it has to do with, with the accidents that she had. But I'm riding her out on the, the urban and rural trails and she's doing really well. I've just had her a little over a week again. The reason she came back to me is, you know, they put some quite a bit of groundwork in her. I think they use the Clinton Anderson method and, and we're doing some groundwork, which is there's some incredible groundwork exercises that he helps you through. And uh, that, that was helpful, but they didn't, weren't able to ride her a whole lot. And so they wanted to bring her to me along with another horse that they wanted started, another mare they wanted started, which she's doing really well as well. But uh, Faith just needed a little couple, couple of weeks of riding and work to make sure they felt safe, safe enough to ride her, at least the, the owner or the owner's daughter that has more experience where she can, uh, she can ride Faith and, and then eventually her mother can ride her. I think it's her mother that's actually the owner. So apologize if I'm getting all this mixed up, guys. <clears throat> but my, my two uh, training tips for today are one, make sure that you do a lot of groundwork. Make sure you do get your fundamental groundwork done with a horse. No matter how calm that horse is, make sure that that horse re will respond to your cues on the ground, whether they're responding and doing something in the sensitizing or they're, they're not, not reacting through your desensitizing. Make sure that they get that good before you ride. And, and my second point, my second training tip is this, even if a, a horse has had a week, I mean, even if a horse has had a, a whole year off in, in training, that doesn't mean that they're gonna regress all the way back to where they, they were at the beginning. Uh, horses are very smart, they remember. They remember the negative stuff and they remember the positive stuff. So if there's something that they've learned, most likely they're gonna pick it right back up again 
if you just help them through with the groundwork. And so I worked with her three about three days before I rode her again and then started riding her and I still do groundwork because she still needs that with her reactivity to the flag and plastic bag and tarps and things. But she's doing really well out on the trail. And so if you have a horse that you haven't rode, ridden in a while, make sure you warm them up, make sure you do your groundwork and then and then have confidence that they're they're smart and they're gonna remember a lot of what you taught them a while back. And, and so they'll come right along Typically, they should come right right along and get to get back to where they were in a very short amount of time. A couple of weeks, week or two should should do the trick. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to be thankful, live with purpose, live with passion, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.